episode. Today I'm going to be testing out the new PC phone ICX Carbon, which is this one on the bottom right here. And then I'm going to put it against the older model, the ICX Precision. And I've been using this one a lot, and I know how this one handles, but I'm going to be using this one a lot today. And we have a lot of fish marked down below, so first I'm going to use the, pre the Precision and I'll try to get a fish for you guys. And today we are going after crappies today. We're at a popular local lake here. A lot of people here today. And I'm dropping the line in on the Precision. A lot of fish underneath us right now. Oh, there it goes. Right away. Not, not big fish. A lot of small ones like this. A lot of small ones like this. Now let's now let's uh, test out the SX ICX carbon using a yellow striped pinhead this is a really good lure for our yellow bass and once we get enough ice then you know we're, I'm gonna be taking you guys to one of the Fairmont lakes or Fair, yeah Fairmont lakes and catch some yellow bass and we can get into some good action the precision I do have two pound test line on and the carbon I do have oh, there it goes I do have four pound test on there he goes. Oh, another small one. A small tiny guy. A small guy right here. I know a lot of you keep on asking why inline over a spinning wheel. The thing I like about inline is is it's easy one hand operation. And the line doesn't twist. And you can do it all, all, all with, all, with uh, one hand. Just drop it down and get ready to uh, reel in some fish. Got some fish looking at right now. Oh, there it goes. This one feels a little nicer. There it goes. This one's it's a little nicer. Not quite the size we want yet. It's probably about a eight and a half, almost nine inch one, right here. But yeah, let's let's go over what I like about the precision reel. This is real easy operation. The older models had something with the trigger where it was placed in the wrong position, so it was getting caught in the gloves of people's hands and everything. And I like to palm them like this. So I can use my middle finger to release the to press on the trigger. Like so. And then your line drops. It feels real comfortable. I kinda wish that the trigger will come in a little bit more towards the middle, a little bit more. Maybe in half an inch to maybe three quarter an inch, so it's easier to grab the trigger. It's a real nice smooth reel. The line drops really easily. I'm using a probably a this is probably about a three millimeter or four millimeter tungsten jig head, and it drops it fine. Let's get the ice, the jig in the hole. So as you can see, it spins. It's free spooler right now, and it's dropping really, really nice, real smooth. I don't know, I don't have any bait on, so, but we'll be lucky if we get something on the, just the jig head. And I like this, I love this piece right here, and it comes uh, kind of comes around behind the reel. So when you palm it, it actually protects it, protects the spool from touching your hands. So when you palm it, 
and when you press the trigger it's not blocking the the spool so it so I can the light can drop them down freely. But now let's take a look at the carbon X. Okay, let's drop it down. The trigger where the trigger is right now, I don't really care for it either. I think it could uh, come up a little bit more, maybe half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, and then inwards towards the middle, maybe another half an inch or so. And that also I don't like about the trigger is it's very uncomfortable because when you press it, you can only go this far. You can only go maybe half an inch or so, maybe three quarters of an inch, and it's not free spooling yet. So you actually have to go even farther back, probably about an inch, for it to free spool. But let's look at the spin real quick first too. The spin is actually really nice too. It's a very nice free spool. So my line's dropping right now. It's real nice. But the downfall of this reel is this part right here. When you palm this, actually you'd be palming with my right hand, but when you palm this, your palm is actually rubbing against the free spool. So when you push the trigger, your hand is actually blocking the free spool so it won't spin but as soon as you remove your palm then it spins so if PC fun would cover this piece up and maybe make the the spool go inward more it would actually be a really nice reel so this is the biggest downfall of this reel especially for those that, that palm it this way but if you're holding it this way which is uh, which doesn't really feel natural. This feels more natural because you're jigging it up, up close. But if you're jigging it, jigging it this way, it's fine because now your hand is not blocking the, the spool. So that's fine right there. So this is a big downfall for those that like to palm their reels like this. <laughs> I just had fish come with my bait. Yeah, let's see if we can get one to bite. There it goes. And as uh, if you, again, if you palm like this, and if you hold it like this, now you can't even reel it up because now your hand is blocking the spool or it's holding the spool, so you can't reel it in. So you have to kind of go to the side of your hands just so you can reel the fish in. This one actually feels really nice. Oh, look at this one. Wow. This is a nicer one. Actually, we're going to keep this one for the fryer. Nice. Another cool feature about the ISAX carbon is when you push forward, now it free spools. You can free spool either way. I'm not sure where you would use that application, but but it's there. But I like using it when I pull the trigger for to free spool. As you can see, I'm kind of holding that kind of. It feels kind of awkward right now holding it because I have to move my palm out a little, just so I can keep that gap right there, so my hand is not on the spool. Another thing that the, the ISAX carbon has that the precision don't have is the magnetic tensioner right here. And this one you can set all the way down for lighter jigs. And you can set it to heavier magnetic for heavier jigs. And then you can also take out the magnets if you have a small enough jig where the magnet's too strong. All you gotta do is just take off the spool and then remove the magnets in there. But yeah, these are two real nice reels. I really like these reels. Minus the fact that this one just needs a protective cover over here. And also like this, like some of the other uh, name brand reels, they have kind of like this guard. So it kind of prevents your line from unwinding. 
it will still unwind but it won't be as bad as not having this little shield right here but yeah this is a real nice smooth reel and i think that with uh with some improvements it's gonna be an even even better reel so hopefully pc fun is uh paying attention and change the trigger it does feel kind of sloppy right here it's not as solid as some it is kind of sloppy it's not as solid as some other reels but it's it's okay though I don't mind the only part that really bothers me is just this piece right here the rear guard right here and then the trigger there, there he goes yeah three of them come up at once Actually, it doesn't feel too bad too this one or <laughs> maybe they're just fighting that much better guys